it's Monday movie hunting, the best way to start your week. I feel like that tune wasn't quite as the tune usually goes. But anyway, it is Monday, it is Monday movie hunting and now I'm gonna let you into a secret. I am actually filming the beginning of this video after already being Monday movie hunting and that is because um, originally today I planned to go Monday movie hunting kind of in the afternoon and in the morning I was actually going shopping. Um, so I kind of went over to where, you know, where I go to that big Tesco sometimes and there's a HMV and I, anyways, I headed over there and I wasn't going to do my Monday movie hunting there. Um, I was just going to do it, you know, after I'd done that on the way home to my Sainsbury's where I usually go. Um, and then I ended up picking up some stuff there and saw some things because it was good prices when I went. Um, so yeah, so I, I have already kind of filmed Monday movie hunting and now I'm doing the beginning afterwards. I, I Maybe it wouldn't matter to you, but in like a second after you see the Monday movie hunt, and plus I know what's coming up. Otherwise I wouldn't have known that I was going to go to three different places in this Monday movie hunt. I wouldn't have known that, you know, if I hadn't have already left the house. Anyway, um, so yes, but basically this week we have Woman in Gold coming out, Spongebob movie Sponge Out of Water, and Insurgent. I don't really think there's anything else coming out. If there is, I'm not really sure what it is. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of our three big main releases today and lots of you guessed last week of what I was going to pick up today um, and I did tell you one thing, I told you that I was going to pick the last week I told you I was going to pick up the Spongebob movie because uh, I thought it came out last week and it did not um, so yeah I told you I was going to pick up that and then I said you know guess what the other one is and I'll obviously get to the guesses at the end as I always do and but yeah so for now let's go with the Monday Movie Hunt clip so basically the first one I think is in HMV and that's where I went first and then the second clip, the only very short clips in HMV and the second place was Tesco's, again it's just short clips in Tesco's um, so there's some HMV clips, some Tesco's clips and then we kind of do our normal Monday movie hunt in St. Louis because even though I had already picked up um, the things that I wanted to pick up at um, HMV and Tesco's I didn't feel like I got enough clips of certain things I actually still feel like I did because I was kind of all over the place I didn't look at the back of the Insurgent DVD I'm pretty sure so I don't actually know what the special features are on that um, but anyway so I was kind of all over the place but um, yeah so I didn't feel like I got enough footage of the actual movies so I went to St. Andrews anyway on the way back because I had to go past it so I was like yeah I'll call in and add more to the Monday movie hunt um, yeah so here's all those clips now and I will return in a minute to talk about what I picked up Okay, so here we are in HMV, and look, they had the Spongebob movie, really good price on 3D, and they had the Insurgent as well, good price in 3D, so I was really excited about that and to pick both of those up. And they had the Taylor Princess Kagawa Blu-ray, and it was in a really nice box, but you couldn't really see because it's got the security tag on. You see, kind of, that it looks like it's in a really nice box, that was twenty one ninety nine. Also, Clouds of, I don't know how to say that. This also came out today. <laughs> With it's got you know it's got like, quite a few people. You got Kristen Stewart. Forgot the main woman's name. It's also got Chloe Grace Moretz in. If you guys have seen that, let me know. This is now Tesco's. Like I said, these are really short clips in um, in Tesco's and H and V. And then again, there's a SpongeBob movie. It was thirteen pounds on just not regular Blu-ray in here. And I took a look at the back, and there's the special features for the just the Blu-ray. And I have done an unboxing of the three D one. And there is Insurgent, which is just the normal Blu-ray, which again was thirteen pounds in Tesco's. Um, so yeah, those are those ones. And they also had, um, oh no, this is just a, yeah, they also had Woman in Black 2, which I was really excited about because you guys know I wanted to pick it up last week. Also, I don't know what this is, I was like, oh, what is this? Miss Meadows with Katie Holmes. I have no idea, I've not heard of it. If you guys know what that is, let me know. Pretty sure that's, well, yeah, it says they're new. Uh, and there's While We're Young, which like came out last week. Here is Woman in Gold. I do take a closer look at the Blu-ray of this in Sainsbury's, but this is just the DVD. If you guys have seen this, I'd love to know your thoughts on it because uh, it looks really interesting. Definitely let me know if you've seen it. Uh, I definitely want to pick it up at some point soon. And this is just the DVD for the Spongebob uh, movie, and there's special features for the DVD, which are different than the Blu-ray. Um, yeah, again, if you guys have seen this, let me know your thoughts on it. It definitely looks interesting. And now this is Sainsbury's, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is Sainsbury's. Okay, so Insurgent is £13, the 3D is 15 this 3D on Spongebob's 15 Really great prices this week. And there was no slipcovers though, just for the 2D on the Spongebob one in Sainsbury's. Okay, here is Woman in Gold, which was £13 on Blu-ray. I was surprised they had it on Blu-ray in Sainsbury's, considering they didn't, uh, I didn't see it anywhere else on Blu-ray, so that was weird. Um, but yeah, so it had the same special features though. Also, Team Beach... Oh, I thought it was called Team Beach Movie, but this is just called Team Beach 2. This also came out today. Uh, I've actually seen the first one. It wasn't that bad. I don't own it, but I have seen it. Uh, you know, if you guys have seen this, let me know what you thought about it. I've seen the first one, so that's cool. That's £10 there. 
and then we also had, oh this is in the TV section by the way, they also had Jupiter Ascending 3D for £20, now they didn't have this when it came out, they only had the 2D, um, but still I am going to wait on it a little bit, but I just thought it was cool, they had it, they also had the Taken Trilogy for £18, which I thought was really cool and a good price for you know, the trilogy on Blu-ray. Just kind of an overview of the Blu-ray section here, really. Um, so, you know, they definitely got a lot more than last week. And the Sainsbury's SpongeBob DVD comes with an extra disc with three music video sing-along things. Um, see, three exclusive sing-along music videos. So that's cool if you just want some extra with it. So I wonder, it must have music in then. I really don't know much about this film. I will watch it very soon and do a review on it. But yeah, that's the Sainsbury's exclusive. And here's just an overview of the DVD section that they had in Sainsbury's. Here we are back again. Okay, so as you saw from HMV, I did manage to pick up the SpongeBob. What is it called? The SpongeBob Movie Sponge Out of Water in 3D for £15. I was really, really happy. I thought that the 3D movies this week were going to be £20 each, so I thought it was going to be a pretty pricey week, but it ended up being a lot better than I expected. I was really happy and excited about that. I mean, it's always great when you can get a better deal than what you thought you were going to get. Unfortunately, the 3D one doesn't have a slipcover. Was a little bit disappointed. It did do an unboxing of this. I did like the slipcover on the uh, 2D one which we saw in HMV but wasn't in Sainsbury's with the slip cover but yeah so really it's a good price everywhere in Sainsbury's it's this price too um, I definitely wanted to pick up a HMV when I saw it at this price because I obviously wasn't sure you know what the price was going to be elsewhere so yeah Spongebob Spongebob out of water and then the one that you guys all guessed last week lots of you guessed this pretty much everybody um, is Insurgent yay now I have actually a thing with Insurgent I don't know whether um, to watch the movie before reading the book. I know, I never do that, okay? And it's just, I have the second book and I just still haven't got around to reading it. And I really wanna watch the movie. And I, I enjoyed the first book a lot. And I enjoyed the movie. I preferred the first book over the movie, actually. Um, I, I prefer the book than the movie, but I just, I just don't know. I've got the third book as well, Allegiant. So whether or not I'll, I don't know. I might do it the wrong way around with this one. I just feel like I just wanna watch the movie. I know I haven't got time to read the whole book right within this week um so yeah mm, let me know what should i do uh, with this one but let me know if you've seen insurgent um yes yeah, so those are the two uh basically yes yeah, so i've nearly picked up all that i got these two that came out today and then i didn't get woman in gold which does look good and i would like to check that out at some point which just wasn't something i was going to pick up today and then if you guys were tuned in last week you guys will know that i wanted to pick up the woman in black 2 last week um which came out a couple of weeks ago and i wanted to pick up last week i was just in the mood to pick it up i was like yeah and then they didn't have it at Sainsbury's. So then when I was in Tesco's and I saw The Woman in Black 2, I was like, yes, I will I will pick this up now. Um, so it is The Woman in Black... T no, it's just called The Woman in Black Angel of Death. It's not called The Woman in Black 2, but it is The Woman in Black 2. Um, but yes, I'm really excited to see this. I enjoyed the first Woman in Black. We don't have Daniel Radcliffe in this one, but that is okay because we have Jeremy Irvine? Irvine? Irvine. Irvine. And I really liked him in Great Expectations a lot. And he was in something else I liked as well. So I'm really happy he's in it. I'm looking forward to watching it. I don't really know how it's going to go. Because I know the first one's based off a book. And obviously this one is not. But I'm hoping just to enjoy it. And yes, I'm looking forward to this. And I need to watch it soon. Because I also need to do my um, kind of end of month wrap up for July. Because I also have do -do 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 -do, the voices that I picked up last week that I still have not watched. Um that is involved in July as well that releases came out so I haven't watched everything for July yet to do my thoughts so I need to watch those very soon um yeah because like I said Woman in Black 2 came out a couple of weeks ago so it was still July now we're in August can you guys believe it it's August already anyway um so yes that's what I picked up so I'm really excited and now let's get to the guesses section because lots of you did guess and lots of you got it right and um, so that's always really exciting so let's look who got it right Okay, so Simon Wayne went for Insurgent, Wicked Obsessor went for Insurgent, who is like a top guesser. I will be putting the um, tally chart back in next week's video. I just need to uh, write them down for pretty much just for, what was it? Not last week, the week before, and this week's, because that was kind of when it, it all fell through at one point, and Laura Gooding is was like the only person who had a tally of guesses, so I've kind of started a new one, but I will show you guys next week. And, um, oh, JCB Media 21, guest insurgent for next week, who was another top guesser. Um, Spooner Mum, guest insurgent as well. And Daniel Lehman, guest insurgent as well, who is another one I see a lot um, guessing correctly. Mad for Movies, also guest insurgent. And Thomas Brinson, who again are both um, people who guess a lot, who guess right a lot of the times. Um, Daniel. 
Hmm, Kil Kilduff? Is that how I say your name? I'm sorry. I always mess up people's names. I really apologise. Sean Hargreaves, um, also guest insurgent. Harvey Morton, also guest insurgent, who you guys know also guesses right a lot of the time. And Rich Short, too, insurgent. Um... Do, 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 do. Rory Patterson, who was like seriously one of the in the lead guesses as well for a long time, also guest insurgent. Um, John Muff, also guest insurgent, and Razman's Reality, also guest insurgent. Daniel McDermott, also guest insurgent, and of course, you know, you guys knew I was picking up the SpongeBob movie, so that was that, and he also guesses right a lot of the time, and then. Laura, also guest insurgent, she's like seven in a row now. I need to make sure to just count again, but I think it's seven. She's guessed so many right in a row, she's like on the ball with the guessing. And then Reese Whalen, also guest insurgent, who I know guesses a lot as well because I kept getting his name wrong for a long time. I'm sorry about that still. And yes, yeah, so that's all the people who guess right. So we have a lot of, um, you know, regular guesses who guess right, so that's cool. I definitely need to put the chart back together so you guys can see what's going on with that. But yes, that is pretty much it for this Monday movie hunt. Next week I won't be picking anything up, but the week after I will be. Um, but yeah, so tune in next week to post a comment if you want to do guesses for the week after. And also I will show the tally in next week's video just because then that will be easier because there won't be any guesses next week. Um, but yeah, there is some cool things coming out next week, but I just will be holding off on them. And then the week after I'll pick stuff up, and then the week after I think the week after as well. And then September... Let's not get too ahead of ourselves, but September is an awesome month for releases, um, so I'm very excited about that. But anyway, yes, I got some great pickups this week, can't wait to watch them. I will be reviewing them in Friday Reviews, but I don't think... I don't know if I'll have all three of them reviewed for this week's Friday Reviews, but definitely in the upcoming Fridays, I will be reviewing these movies if you don't know what Friday Reviews is. It has a theme tune and everything, <laughs> as does everything I seem to do. Um, but... Um, basically, I'm now just doing film reviews on Fridays. Um, so if you ever want to check out, you know, any thoughts on movies, I've picked them up on Monday. Usually, um, you know, all any film reviews I'm going to do, I always upload them on Fridays now. So yay! Anyway, so that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much if you were a guesser and you guessed right. Well done. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on all of these movies uh, that came out today. What did you pick up? Did you have a good day? I hope so. And I hope you guys have a fantastic week. I'll see you then. Goodbye.